Stevenson grinds out a 74-71 win in an overtime to note over Messiah, Glenn Clark, with head coach Gary Stewart. Coach, I don't know that it was the prettiest at all times, but it was a workmanlike effort from your team. How were you guys able to battle back and get this win tonight? Well, we knew it was going to be a rock fight, and it was. Um, they are going to uh, try to tempo the game possession by possession. Um, early on, they stuck it in the interior and, and really hurt us. Um, we tried to do a couple of different things and make some adjustments in the second half. We were able to pressure a little bit better from the perimeter, um, and we rotated better. Uh, but um, it wasn't smooth. Uh, but we did what we needed to do to, to win. And, and this time of year, it's, it's survive in advance, and we were able to, to – uh, uh, get this one and then look forward to Saturday. The defense really jumped out at me down the stretch and particularly into overtime when you guys needed stops. What changed that, that this became really locked down as the game went on? Well, we, we got a break when, when Matt Glukowski got his fifth foul and that changes them a little bit. And um, we were able to get to their perimeter guys and they shoot 40% of shots are threes. And so they're so capable from so many different spots. I thought we closed out well and um, we, um, we tried to disrupt their tempo a little bit, and um, and we had some um, success with that. How important, since the last time I saw you, you got somebody back. You got Mikhail Williams back um, a couple games ago. How important has it been for him? What has he done for your team having him back out on the floor? Yeah, talking about a revolving door and mix man up. I mean, we, we get a guy, we lose a guy, we get a guy, we lose a guy. You, you can see how important he is to us um, because now you're going to have to put a secondary defender on one, a Clil or him. So that changes things a little bit. And, and then now the spacing is a little bit better offensively. We just got to execute better. But but um, we're really happy to have him back because he impacts the game in so many different areas. You know, he's able to, uh, to rebound from his position as good as any guard in our league. Um, he can get to the basket. He, he can stretch a defense. He's really, really a valuable player for us. And the guy that jumped off the page of me tonight was Jalen Jordan, right? Who, you know, you have your other guys getting attention, and, and he sort of took advantage of that. Yeah, you lose, um, you know, today at, at shoot around, we find out about Cam Sapienza and, and Cam Smith. And so those are two really, really important people for us. And, and to go into this without those two guys, um, put some pressure on us, but we had some other guys step up, and and obviously at the forefront was Jalen Jordan. He he was excellent. Um, the the layup at, uh, yeah. at with the shot clock running down was really important basket for us. He played within himself, and uh, the one thing that doesn't uh, really um, no one will talk about. But when they were pressing us, he didn't turn the ball over when he inbounded the ball, and that's so critical in, the, in that position. All right, Coach. Congratulations on a big win tonight. Uh, best of luck as you head back out on the road. We'll see you back here next week, all right? Thank you, Glenn. He's Gary Stewart. I'm Glenn Clark. GoMustangSports.com.